Human history harbors an adventure rooted in the transmission of stories, knowledge, and culture. For thousands of years, people conveyed their experiences, insights, and dreams through oral traditions. However, this transmission process remained limited over time, and the spread of knowledge was slow and restricted. From ancient times to the Middle Ages, manuscript books played a significant role in preserving and transmitting knowledge. However, this process was lengthy and challenging. The process of copying and writing not only consumed time but also increased the likelihood of errors. Access to information was limited, and books were considered luxury items. At this juncture, the history of the printing press emerges. The printing press represented a revolutionary step in humanity's process of multiplying and disseminating knowledge. Johannes Gutenberg's invention of movable type in the 15th century radically transformed book production and distribution. The significance of the printing press lies in the monumental transformation it brought about in the dissemination of knowledge. Books, which were previously unavailable at such speed and scale, became producible. Access to information increased, literacy rates rose, and the accumulation of knowledge greatly contributed to the development of societies. The printing press became a driving force behind the Renaissance, the Reformation, and the Age of Enlightenment. Ideas began to circulate freely, the boundaries of knowledge expanded, and people's intellectual horizons enriched. Today, the printing press still maintains its importance. Even in the digital age, printed books and the printing industry continue to exist as cornerstones of our culture. The legacy of the printing press represents the power of freely spreading knowledge and ideas, marking a significant milestone in human history from the past to the present. This documentary will delve into the discovery and historical development of the printing press, highlighting its significant role in human history. It will showcase the power of tradition, innovation, and knowledge and explore how we carry the legacy of the printing press in the modern world. The production and dissemination of manuscript books before the printing press are one of the oldest methods of transmitting writing and knowledge in human history. This process can generally be examined in four stages, the production, copying, preservation, and dissemination of manuscript books. Manuscript books were typically handcrafted by scribes or copyists. Scribes, who often received specialized training, usually worked in intellectual centers such as monasteries, churches, or palaces to transcribe books. During the production process, materials like parchment or papyrus were commonly used. Texts were usually written with special inks and then adorned with embellishments or drawings by hand. The duplication of manuscript books was a lengthy and labor-intensive process. Books were often copied from a single original copy, which was time-consuming. Copyists painstakingly transcribed the text by hand from the original copy, requiring great attention and patience. Especially important works were duplicated multiple times in an effort to reach a wider audience. Preservation of manuscript books was a crucial step in ensuring their passage to future generations. Books were typically stored in intellectual centers such as monastery libraries, palaces, or churches. These locations were vital for the preservation and transmission of books to future generations. Manuscript books were often disseminated to different regions and cultures through travelers, merchants, explorers, and scholars. Trade routes like the Silk Road facilitated the spread of knowledge in books to various cultures and regions. Knowledge in books were often transported to different regions through merchants engaged in trade or explorers on expedition voyages. In the pre-printing press era, stone printing or lithography emerged as a significant printing technique. Lithography is based on the principle of transferring drawings made with an oil-based material onto a stone surface, taking advantage of the immiscibility of water and oil. The first step usually involves selecting a smooth stone such as limestone. The stone is typically made of calcium carbonate mineral known as limestone. The stone must be carefully prepared and processed to obtain a smooth surface. Then, an artist or lithography expert draws on the stone with special oil-based pens or inks. This drawing is done using the reverse image technique, where a mirrored version of the drawing is transferred to the stone, enabling the print to be transferred smoothly onto paper. The drawing on the stone is fixed through a chemical process. Using a type of acid or chemical solution, the ink is retained only in the drawn areas of the stone while the non-greasy parts are moistened with water. 
During the printing stage, a damp paper or printing material placed on the stone printing press is placed on top of the stone. The printing press transfers the ink from the stone surface to the paper with pressure applied to the stone. The print on the paper is usually lightly pressed and then left to dry. After drying, the print is often hand-colored or the coloring process is done in a separate stage. Lithography or stone printing was an important technique used, especially for printing pictures, illustrations, and some texts before the era of the printing press. This method contributed to the development of other printing techniques later on. In the pre-printing press era, woodblock printing was an important printing technique. In this technique, writings or images were carved onto wooden blocks, and then ink was applied to print on paper. The emergence of printing in China occurred much earlier than Gutenberg's invention in Europe. Printing appeared in China at a much earlier date, around the 7th century AD. In the early stages of printing technology in China, methods like woodblocks and stone printing were utilized. Printing technology in China was initially used for the reproduction of Buddhist texts and other religious works. Texts written on wooden blocks were printed on paper by applying ink to them. This technique facilitated the reproduction of texts and accelerated the production process of manuscript books. Later, during the Tang Dynasty in China, stone printing techniques were developed. Stone printing involved inscribing texts onto stone slabs and then applying ink to the slab to print on paper. This method allowed for more durable and detailed prints. During the Song Dynasty in the first century, Chinese scholars further advanced printing technology by developing printing machines using movable metal type. However, the use of these systems remained limited and was not widely adopted. The discovery and use of the first printing press began with Johannes Gutenberg's revolutionary invention in the 15th century. Gutenberg, known as a German inventor and entrepreneur, is one of the most important figures in the history of printing. Johannes Gutenberg developed the technique of movable metal type printing. In this technique, metal molds, matrices, were prepared for each letter and character, which were then arranged under pressure. Subsequently, texts were composed with metal letters and printed on paper using a printing press. One of Gutenberg's most important innovations was the use of metal matrices for mold making. This allowed for the individual casting of letters and characters from metal molds for typesetting enabling the rapid and accurate printing of many different characters. Furthermore, innovative approaches were used in the development of printing materials such as printing ink. Printing ink needed to be durable and transfer smoothly onto paper. Gutenberg developed a high-quality ink formulation and experimented with various press designs. Ultimately, he used a rotating press to transfer metal letters onto paper, ensuring the smooth transfer of letters and speeding up the printing process. Gutenberg's printing press made a significant impact when it became fully operational in the late 1450s by printing the first major work, the Gutenberg Bible. This was the first large volume book printed in Europe and held great significance for Christianity. Gutenberg's invention revolutionized the spread of knowledge and thought in Europe. Especially during the Renaissance and Reformation periods, the use of printing press democratized access to information, moving it away from being the privilege of only the church or the elite classes. Gutenberg's printing press rapidly spread throughout Europe and later reached other parts of the world. The discovery of the printing press increased access to knowledge, raised literacy rates, and greatly contributed to the cultural and intellectual development of societies. The invention of the printing press facilitated the faster and wider dissemination of information. Books could be produced more quickly and in larger quantities compared to manuscript copying. This increased access to knowledge and accelerated intellectual transformation. Books became more affordable and accessible to wider audiences, contributing to the rise of mass literacy and education in Europe. As people gained more access to information, literacy levels increased. The spread of printing press in Europe increased cultural exchange among different cultures. Ideas, information, and intellectual currents from different countries spread more easily, contributing to periods like the Renaissance and the Scientific Revolution. The dissemination of scientific knowledge accelerated, and scientists' works reached a wider audience, leading to the acceleration of scientific discoveries and advancements. In 1460, the Catholicon, a Latin grammar and dictionary book, 
was printed by Johann Balbus in France. It was one of the first dictionaries and grammar books printed with the printing press. In the Ottoman Empire, the printing press was introduced in the late 15th century after Johannes Gutenberg's invention in Europe. The Ottomans primarily used printing press technology for the printing of religious texts and official documents. The introduction of the printing press to the Ottoman Empire occurred primarily through the efforts of Ibrahim Mutaferika in 1727. Ibrahim Mutaferika, a Hungarian-born Ottoman statesman, is known for his work in the field of printing. Mutaferika facilitated the establishment of a modern printing press in the Ottoman Empire. By establishing the first printing press in the Ottoman Empire in 1727, he introduced European works to Ottoman society. The development of printing press machines represents a significant evolution in the history of the printing industry. Printing press machines have been continuously renewed and improved to expedite the printing process, automate it, and make it more efficient. With the advent of the Industrial Revolution, printing press machines began to be produced on an industrial scale. During this period, steam-powered printing press machines were developed, enabling the execution of larger volume printing tasks. In the mid-19th century, rotary printing machines were invented. These machines were capable of continuous printing on white paper or other materials, expediting the production of materials such as newspapers, magazines, and books, which required large quantities. The use of rotary presses in the mid-19th century brought significant progress to the printing industry. Rotary presses enable printing on paper by rotating molds placed on a cylinder, accelerating the printing process and increasing page printing capacity. Linotype and monotype machines were developed to facilitate the rapid printing of texts. These machines allowed for the printing of letters on metal blocks, which were then transferred to paper. Linotype machines increased efficiency in the printing industry and accelerated the printing process. Towards the end of the 20th century and the beginning of the 21st century, digital printing technologies revolutionized the printing industry. Computers and digital printing machines made book printing and the production of other printed materials faster, more flexible, and more economical. These technologies are ideal for color printing, personalized printing, and small-scale printing jobs. The development of printing press machines has influenced many industries, including book printing, newspaper publishing, advertising, and the production of other printed materials, and has played a significant role in modern communication. Today, the printing industry is evolving towards a more dynamic, environmentally friendly, and customer-oriented structure with digitalization and technological innovations. These changes enable the printing industry to remain competitive while effectively responding to customer needs. The invention of the printing press radically changed access to information and knowledge sharing, and in a broader perspective, scientific and technological innovations have played a significant role in human development. These pivotal moments in human history have laid the foundation for global societal, economic, and cultural changes. Don't forget to subscribe for brand new documentaries and more scientific content.